Hi everyone, I'm out today testing some emergency survival gear from Gear Pods. I've got with me the Shelter Pro system, the emergency cook set, stove system, and the emergency survival kit. Now, your first priority in a survival situation is to stop, assess your situation, and take stock of the gear that you've got with you. The gear pod stove system, easily identified by the useful little sticker on the side. We have a burner base for the stove, it's got some little legs that slide out, give it better support, more stability. I've got a couple of Esbit cubes which I store in the base of the stove. We have the cook mug. And our lid that fits very snugly. I've got some more Esbit cubes inside. We have the little alcohol burner. and the windscreen. And the cook mug works great. It's made from a, an anodized metal which conducts heat very very well and it has this little strip of flame resistant tape which it makes it really good for lifting up the mug once you've boiled your water. It doesn't retain heat at all and you don't burn your fingers. I've used this plenty of times in the past and it's great. You have the Shelter Pro we have the little sticker on the outside which identifies the contents inside the Shelter Pro. It's actually two gear pods attached together. We have the emergency bivvy by Adventure Medical Kits. And we have the shelter system itself. We have some cordage, some line tensioners, we have an emergency mylar blanket and then the gear pods top. A bit tricky to get out. Some very useful instructions. It covers basic knots and things like that, and how to erect the tarp itself. We have the survival kit. Now I've actually added a sabre cut saw from Ultimate Survival Technologies. It sits in this little mini gear pod container. Now this doesn't come standard with the survival kit, you have to pay extra for this. But it's, uh, if you actually buy it from gear pods, it's a lot cheaper than, than uh, paying retail for the uh, UST saver cut saw because it doesn't come with the, uh, the carry pouch or any of that rubbish. But still, it saves you about $10. And then we have the survival kit itself. It comes inside this useful little pouch. And you also get some good basic instructions. It covers signaling, shelter building, basic knots snares, lists the contents of the kit and talks about first aid, hypothermia, fractures and spinal injuries and things like that. Pretty good instructions. Inside we have a little plastic tube which contains safety pins, needles, hooks, sinkers and swivels. A safe cut razor blade, some duct tape, always useful, a little LED lamp, and this has actually got a really good feature. Obviously, you can turn it on by pressing it, but it's got a really good feature. It's a little 
switch you can flick and leave it on that's a really really useful thing to have with one of these little LED switches you can hang it around your neck and see what you're doing things like that it's great we have some right in the rain card paper and a pencil it's right on it signal mirror this is the adventure medical kits one again and it's absolutely brilliant really good a safe cut uh, saw. It's actually a hacksaw blade so you can cut through bone and metal if you need to. We've got a match striker and lifeboat matches. Some tinder quick again from adventure, adventure medical research or adventure medical kits. A water bag. Now these are great. I carry these in my own personal survival kit. They uh, they hold I think it's 32 ounces of water, but they uh, the, f the best feature is uh, they have a flat bottom so you can stand them up, which is great for when you're purifying the water. You can drop the tablets in and just leave it to rest. Have some cordage, some water purifying tablets. These are the uh, Katadin MP1 water purifying tablets. They're really good. Like, again, I carry those in my personal spoiler kit. We have a button compass, some thread, and some wire for snares. We have an emergency whistle, it's a Fox 40 Micro. Again, I carry one of these in my personal survival kit, so very, very good. Peeless. And lastly, we have a little one-handed spark light striker, again from Adventure Medical Research, Adventure Medical Kits.